For the CAN world, we first show a contrived example that illustrates why discretization of the sample space for picking up the black CAN fails. Here, the robot fails to find a grass pose for the black CAN that goes through the obstacles, so it must start to rearrange them in order to reach the black CAN. On the other hand, our method uses this base pose distribution and this grasping pose distribution to try to pick up the black can. And so, after failing once, finds a successful grasp pose for picking up the black can despite all the obstructions. Now, we show a difficult example of the can world for both backtracking and our system. Backtracking in this case tries to find an error-free solution to picking up the black can. However, it's not able to do so. Therefore, the system resorts to returning collision information to the task planner. However, in doing so, it finds a lot of collisions and is now stuck attempting to pick up objects such as the one indicated by the mouse. In contrast, our method quickly discovers that it should try to find error information and propagate it to the high level. After doing so, it is able to discover three obstructing objects, move them out of the way onto the red squares which indicate sampled put-down locations onto the table, and thus quickly find a solution for grasping the black can. In the dinner world, backtracking performs quite well. This is because the sampled poses for picking up and putting down the tray are right in front of the tray, which is clearly the optimal position for doing so. As we see here, the robot is standing straight in front of the tray while interacting with it. By contrast, our method uses continuous distributions. Here is a distribution for picking up the tray. The green dots indicate where the right gripper will be placed and the left gripper is placed symmetrically on the other side of the tray. Notice that in this case, the base does not stand directly in front of the tray while interacting with it, but rather is sampled from a continuous distribution approximately in a cone shape in front of the tray. In the frying pan world, the backtracking baseline uses sampled poses for picking up the frying pans that are both on the handle as well as on the circular portion. This leads to some issues, however. When trying to pick up the yellow frying pan from the table on the right, the robot continuously tries to pick it up from the circular portion instead of from the handle. This makes it impossible for the robot to place the frying pan inside the narrow shelf. It continuously discovers these failures, but keeps sampling poses for grasping the yellow frying pan that are on the circular portion. By contrast, our method learns the following distributions for base pose, grasping the frying pan, base pose, and placing the frying pan into the shelf. Notice that for grasping the frying pan, the distribution was clustered around the handle. This makes execution successful very quickly. Notice that all grasps for the frying pan occur at approximately the same position on the handle which is the learned behavior. 